I heard of this base in San Francisco, and I went into the gentleman's uh, apartment, and I saw this one glowing in the corner, and I thought, oh my God, if only that was for sale. And it turned out it was, which many of bases that, that have these kind of profound shoulders were cut down to make them easier to play. And thank God this one was never touched. It never came under the knife that way. So. It's Cremonese. It's made by Michelangelo Berganzi at about 1750. It's got its battle scars to some degree, but it's the original varnish. And um, the only thing that really has been changed was in the 19th century, uh, while it was residing in England, it was converted from its original three strings to four strings. You know, the, the gut strings are at a cellular level, so much more sensitive a barometer of, of what we do. They, they react to the slightest thing, the slightest change, the slightest movement of the left hand, the slightest degree of bow speed or pressure. I mean, if I, if I just move my finger just like that, you can hear something different, but the articulations. And the, the tone world, the range of dynamics, you can actually be expressive at the, the, the quietest level. Um, And the, the myth that the, the gut strings are, uh, is perpetuated, there's a myth perpetuated that they are not as strong or powerful than, um, than steel strings or plastic strings is so wrong because they are much more... There's an immediacy of the tone of boom right away to the gut strings and the same humanness is uh, imbued in, in the oboe, the bassoon, the horns. The whole palette of expression in ACO, there's a greater variety of, of everything, dynamic, tone, articulation. Uh, and through all of that, a deeper uh, realization of the music itself, more profound readings.